In Unlock Your Future Self Today, the traditional psychological perspective that human actions are determined by past experiences is challenged. Instead, the narrative shifts towards the idea that individuals are motivated not by the past but by a vision of their future. Dr. Benjamin Hardy's book, Be Your Future Self Now, delves into seven threats, seven truths, and seven steps for making this transformation a reality. The seven threats to your future self involve potential obstacles and pitfalls that might hinder your progress. These could include external factors or personal habits that hold you back. On the other hand, the seven truths about your future self emphasize the importance of understanding and aligning with your future goals and aspirations. To initiate this transformation, the book outlines seven steps, providing a practical guide for individuals looking to become their future selves. These steps likely involve self-reflection, goal-setting, and actionable strategies to bridge the gap between the present and the envisioned future. While the specifics of the threats, truths, and steps aren't detailed in the provided summary, two impactful insights from each category are highlighted. These insights aim to provide a starting point for individuals seeking personal growth, encouraging them to move beyond conventional New Year's resolutions and instead focus on a more profound and sustained transformation. The overarching message is to embrace the idea that individuals have the agency to shape their future selves, moving away from deterministic views of the past dictating one's path. In this section, Dr. Benjamin Hardy shares a personal story from his youth involving a car accident that profoundly impacted his family. At the age of 16, he took the wheel to relieve his tired mother during a road trip, and an unforeseen construction hazard led to a serious accident. His mother suffered severe injuries, enduring a lengthy coma and enduring physical pain for two decades. Despite the tragic nature of the incident, Hardy's mother chose to shape the narrative positively. Instead of succumbing to bitterness or despair, she framed the accident as a defining moment that clarified her life's purpose, raising her three boys. This perspective led her to become more compassionate and appreciative of life's small joys. The key insight derived from this personal story is that the meaning individuals assign to their past experiences significantly influences their future selves. Research indicates that the events themselves matter less than the narrative constructed around them. Dr. Hardy emphasizes the transformative potential of embracing difficult moments as teachers rather than allowing them to define or limit one's future. The takeaway lesson encourages individuals to take ownership of their experiences, allowing them to craft a narrative that serves and empowers their future selves. When faced with adversity, the advice is to choose a story that promotes personal growth and resilience, following the example set by Dr. Hardy's mother in turning a tragic event into a catalyst for positive change. In this section, Dr. Benjamin Hardy introduces the fear of failure as a significant threat to one's future self. He references Theodore Roosevelt's famous passage emphasizing the importance of being the person, in the arena, someone actively striving and facing challenges. The central idea is that fear of failure often prevents individuals from pursuing their dreams, ultimately hindering their potential for future success. The text contends that playing it safe, while seemingly more comfortable in the short term, is, in fact, a default form of failure. The narrative challenges the notion that pursuing lesser goals is a satisfactory compromise, suggesting that settling for less can lead to regret when reflecting on life's possibilities. Courage is presented as a key psychological element, defined as committing to noble goals, despite the inherent risks. The pursuit of one's future self is framed as a courageous endeavor, requiring the vision to imagine an ideal future and the determination to take steps toward realizing it. Acknowledging the possibility of occasional failure is deemed an integral part of this courageous journey, emphasizing that avoiding risk guarantees never reaching one's full potential. The readers are encouraged to reflect on three goals they would set for themselves if failure were not an option. Dr. Hardy prompts them to consider the massive actions required within the next year to turn these goals into reality. The underlying message is that, despite the risks associated with entering the arena, it is only within this arena that individuals can hope to achieve their greatest rewards. In this section, Dr. Benjamin Hardy explores the concept of the end of history illusion and emphasizes the dynamic nature of personal development. He prompts readers to reflect on their identity and the changes they've undergone in the past decade. 
Despite acknowledging significant transformations, he highlights a common cognitive bias where individuals perceive their current selves as more or less the finished product. The author introduces the liberating truth that today's self is merely the starting point, and the future self will undergo further evolution. Accepting this inevitability of change is not only a more accurate understanding of human development but also a crucial factor in realizing one's full potential. By embracing the idea that personal growth is ongoing, individuals can approach their current selves with a lighter perspective, free from the need for all the answers or self-condemnation for mistakes. The text encourages readers to recognize the potential for accelerated growth by acknowledging the fluidity of identity. It advises setting aside time to envision the future self, crystallizing their interests, values, circumstances, goals, and achievements. The act of vividly imagining this future self is presented as a powerful tool for expediting and smoothing the journey toward personal growth. The narrative promotes an open-minded and imaginative approach, suggesting that allowing oneself to be surprised can enhance the effectiveness of this transformative journey. If you've discovered even a small nugget of value in our content, we would truly appreciate your support through likes, shares, and subscriptions. Make sure to stay tuned till the end for more insightful nuggets, and don't forget to provide us with your feedback. Thanks for being with us. Now, let's get back to the review. In this section, Dr. Benjamin Hardy delves into the impact of one's perception of God on their future self. The text emphasizes that there is no singular, right, belief system but underscores the significant influence that chosen perspectives can have on shaping self-perception, potential, and the outlook on the world. Hardy encourages individuals to adopt a perspective that empowers their future selves rather than constraining them. The text illustrates this point by exploring two contrasting views, one where God is likened to a potter, and humans are the pottery, and another where God is viewed as a parent, and each individual is considered a literal child of God. The former implies an inherent distinction between the pot and the potter, limiting the pot's understanding and potential for becoming the potter. In contrast, the latter perspective sees humans and God as essentially one, akin to an acorn and an oak, allowing for a more profound connection and the potential for individuals to grow and become like God. Operating from the second perspective expands the realm of possibilities for the future self. It suggests a shift from a mindset of lack and limitation to one of abundance and expansiveness. By choosing a belief system that sees the future self evolving into a divine state, individuals can approach the creation of their future selves with gratitude and trust instead of fear and insecurity. Ultimately, the text emphasizes that the choice of a belief system is a personal one, but its ramifications extend to shaping the future self and, potentially, beyond. In this section, Dr. Benjamin Hardy introduces the concepts of systemizing success and rigorous scheduling as powerful tools to facilitate the growth of one's future self. The narrative begins with Hardy's personal experience of working with a financial advisor who recommended setting up an automatic weekly payment to his investment account. The surprising profits he witnessed in just three months illustrate the efficacy of systemizing and scheduling for achieving future goals. The text emphasizes that systemizing the future self is an ongoing process, with systems evolving alongside personal growth. Hardy's example of increasing the size of his weekly investment aligns with the expanding financial goals of his evolving future self. The primary objective of systemization is to minimize friction in adopting the actions and behaviors of the future self. Hardy achieves this by implementing an automatic payment system, making the desired behavior routine and virtually effortless. The second practice highlighted is rigorous scheduling, acknowledging that many people's calendars are often filled with urgent tasks, leaving little room for important activities. To prioritize growth, individuals are encouraged to treat future self-actions as non-negotiable appointments, scheduling them ahead of other tasks. Hardy shares his personal approach of dedicating specific days and times for income-generating activities, ensuring that his future self's financial goals take precedence. The overarching message is to leverage the power of systems and schedules to inch closer to the envisioned future self. The practical examples provided by Dr. Hardy serve as a guide for individuals committed to realizing their growth potential. In this section, the concept of, done is better than perfect, is introduced, emphasizing the importance of completing tasks, even if they are imperfect, to propel oneself toward their future self. 
The narrative begins by highlighting the surprising quote from Leonardo da Vinci, a renowned genius, stating that, art is never finished, only abandoned. With a clear understanding of one's future self, efficient systems, and schedules in place, the next crucial practice is consistent completion. Individuals are encouraged to recognize that, regardless of imperfections, completing tasks is essential for progress. The idea is that what is produced now will pale in comparison to what the future self can achieve, but without completing tasks today, the future self won't have a foundation for improvement. Dr. Hardy shares personal examples from his life, illustrating how his latest book's writing surpasses that of his first book, his parenting approach has become more nuanced over time, and the money he aims to invest now far exceeds his initial savings. The key message is that waiting for perfection perpetuates a cycle of delay, hindering the progress toward the envisioned future self. The principle of quitting is also addressed, emphasizing the importance of quitting actions or behaviors that no longer contribute to the journey toward the future self. Contrary to the popular saying, individuals are encouraged to stay committed to the vision of their future self rather than adhering to outdated ideas. The section concludes by drawing inspiration from da Vinci's imperfect yet impressive works, encouraging individuals to allow themselves to complete imperfectly and embrace the possibility of becoming a noteworthy figure in their generation. In this final summary, the transformative power of connecting with one's future self is emphasized, and the potential for this change to begin immediately is highlighted. It encourages readers to navigate common pitfalls, such as negative past narratives and fear of failure, by staying aware of threats to the future self. The summary underscores the importance of staying inspired by embracing truths about the future self, including acknowledging the dynamic nature of personal growth and the impact of one's beliefs in shaping potential. It further outlines a clear path to realizing an expansive and abundant future self by following key steps, such as implementing systems for success and prioritizing completion over perfection. The words of author, spiritual leader, and political activist Marianne Williamson are invoked, reminding readers that playing small does not serve the world. The conclusion encourages a commitment to manifesting one's fullest potential and urges individuals to be their future selves starting from the present moment. Thank you from the heart for staying with us until the end. Your support not only broadens the channel's reach to a wider audience but also plays a crucial role in nurturing its continuous development. Your likes, shares, comments, and subscriptions serve as the fuel for my engine. As an expression of gratitude, I commit to consistently providing insightful book reviews sourced from some of the most impactful books in the world. Thank you for being an integral part of this enriching journey.